whether we should uh, do Arafa day according to our country or according to the Saudi calendar. Let's see the fatwa. This is basically taken from Islam QA. So here it says like ninth day for fasting is different for those following the regional opinion of Eid al-Adha. So ninth day in Saudi Arabia, like it is according to their moon sighting. But whereas you are in different country and you have a different day. So you gonna fast on 9th of uh, Arafa, day of Arafa, according to your moon sighting or according to Saudi calendar. When we see the hadith regarding this matter, Rasulullah did fasting for 9 days from 1 Zil Hijjah up to till 9 day of Arafah. But when you want to fast the ninth uh, of Arafah, the day of Arafah, it will be according to your country moon sighting, wherever you reside. Whether it's in UK, US, uh, Asian countries, doesn't matter. It will be according to it. Whereas you can make dua on ninth of Arafah according to the Saudi calendar because we want to have the, like there's a great deal of virtue in offering the dua on the day of Arafah. Because of the hadith of Abdullah ibn Amr uh, bin As, uh, according to which Prophet Wasallam said, the best of supplication is the supplication of the day of Arafah. And the best of what I and Prophet Wasallam said is la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah lahu al-mulku wa lahu al-hamdu wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir so translation is there is no god but allah alone with no partner or associate his dominion to him praises and has power over all things this is the dua and this is narrated by tirmizi and classed hasan by albani in sahih al-targhib so this virtue apply only to those who are in Arafah or does it include, uh, include other places too? Concerning that, there is a difference of opinion among the scholars which has been discussed. So according to the opinion that it includes other countries and other places too, the same may be said concerning it as, uh, so each person should offer supplication like, you know, you can make dua on 9th of Zilhajja. So, uh, there is no problem in uh, doing a dua on 9th of Arafah. That is uh, 9th of Zilhajja, according to Saudi calendar. But uh, you are thinking that the day of Arafah, like some people, they are just fasting on 9th of uh, Arafah, the day of Arafah, I mean. So they will fast, just they want to fast one day and that is the day of Arafah that will be according to your country. But some people they fast from 1 to 9, that is fine, but that will be according to your country. But you can make supplication, you can make dua on 9th of Arafah even though your Arafah day is different from the Saudi time. Like, you know, Saudi, they have earlier and you have later. Doesn't matter. Or they have earlier or you have later. Because it is recommended to make dua, lot of dua on the of Arafah. And following dua, La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu. Lahu al-mulku wa lahu alhamdu wa huwa la kulli shayin qadir. And before ending this, there is a site. When brother, uh, he helps the youngsters in... Uh, uh, education regarding uh, you know overseas in UK just listen to him okay hello Imran uh, assalamu alaikum uh, nice to have you again and uh, if you could please uh, take us through to PG and UG programs you offer hello say say assalamu alaikum um, yeah no problem it's my pleasure again joining this PUB on this call um yes yeah, so uh, just to introduce myself, my name is Imran Rashid and I work for QA Higher Education. Uh, last time we spoke about the foundation programs we offer with the universities we work with in the UK. 
Today I'm going to speak about the undergraduate and the postgraduate offerings we have at the universities we work in partnership with. Okay. okay. So there are two universities. The first one is Northumbria University London, which is a branch campus in central London. And then there's Ulster University in Birmingham and in London, which again is a branch campus um, located in the UK. Okay. So the first university I mentioned, which is Northumbria University London, um, here we we have a branch campus in central London. The closest uh, tube station and the closest train station is Liverpool Street Station. It's located. So you can refer to this channel. Uh, this is SBUB Group Limited, and uh, I will give the details in the description box, and you can uh, get the information there. Jazakallah khair and kasiya. Subhanakallahumma bihamdika. Nashadu Allah ilaha illa anta. Nastaghfiruka. Natubleika. Assalamu.